Hello, we're checking out Google's updates from 2022. Today we're talking about their product reviews update. These are updates to Google's automatic ranking system that helps users find the best product reviews with the most answered user queries. Every time you search for the best whatever, the automatic ranking system gives you the best whatever. The product reviews update focuses on higher quality content with better analysis and deeper research of reviews for all the products. This is to ensure that the top results show reviews with experience and the results of experimentation with the product. The first rollout was done with reviews in mind and was later finalized and refined with the helpful content update rollout. The helpful content system is Google's way of targeting low quality content that may not be user friendly and filtering it out. This update affects the SERPs highly. Do check out our video on the helpful content update. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel. Now, who should look out for this update? Well, the product reviews update does not apply to websites that ask for customer reviews after selling products like Amazon or e-commerce stores. Similarly, it does not apply to Google reviews of customers. It is specifically for people who run websites with longer versions of product reviews, such as bloggers or service review websites. And yes, this update does apply to service reviews as well. Looking at the Verge.com's review section as an example, the reviews on this website have an experience element have plenty of media, compare the products to other products, and bring an overall sense of authenticity. It checks a lot of boxes. What else? Affiliate sites. Possibly the most affected sites are gonna be affiliate websites. But regardless of the type of site, if the reviews are bland, missing information, or lack a personal element, the site could be negatively affected by the update. It's also worth noting that this update is currently for English language reviews only. Google also says that while structured data is preferable, the ranking will not be affected by it. Moreover, it states that the new update looks for quality rather than quantity. So word count no longer matters. Now, if your product reviews are going down in the SERPs, they might not have everything Google is looking for. Adding details is a good start to make your reviews more qualified. Include media like images and videos along with comparisons. You can also add comprehensive details with your firsthand experience. But if this update has baffled you, don't worry. Google's got a list of tips. Write reviews from the user's perspective. Show an expert in reviewing the product. Give plenty of media. Use quantitative measurements. Compare the products. Explain how a product might be the best in certain circumstances. Discuss the pros and cons. Talk about how the product evolved. Supply information beyond what the manufacturer says. Link to resourceful websites. Link to multiple sellers to give the readers purchase options. Recommend the product with plenty of evidence. Talk about the key decision-making factors and include enough useful content to get your ranked list to stand on its own. There's a link in the description to Google's complete list. Make sure you check it out. That's all I have for you today. If you like this just in, there's been an update to the update. Remember when I said that this product reviews update applied to English language reviews only? Well, you can throw that out the window. As of March 2023, the update now applies to reviews in Dutch, French, German, Indonesian, Italian, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, and Vietnamese. Everything else I said still stays the same, but now it casts a much wider net by including product reviews from a variety of languages. Google never takes a break. If you liked this video and want to support our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you don't like our content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell.